So here's what you need to know about our company. So we're going to talk about our brand for a minute. Your brand is basically what people associate you with, what values, what values, what what objects people associate you with when they hear your company name. So I'm going to give you an example. When you hear of the brand, um, Tom's Toothpaste, what do you think of? Landon Blake. When he says she thinks of Landon Blake. That's an organic toothpaste company. Okay? Okay. So, but they have a brand. If we found out they were putting arsenic in their toothpaste, what would that do to their brand? Okay, so their brand means something, right? Their brand stands for quality products that are good for your health, right? Quality ingredients that are good for your health, okay? When you think about Ben & Jerry's ice cream, that brand, what is that? What do you think about? What comes to your mind? It's good. Really good ice cream. <laughs> really, so like, look, if you got a crappy thing of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, that's a problem, right? When somebody says Ben & Jerry's, I think really good ice cream. Okay, when, when, what about the brand Krispy Kreme? Yummy, Another, like the, melting the top. Oh, yeah. best donut you can get. Okay, what about the brand In and Out? What do you fresh, think? Of? Fresh, fresh, fresh. Really good, fresh food. Okay, but you know when you go to In and Out, are you going to be able to order 40 things off the menu? No. That's part of their brand, isn't it? Yeah, you only get three options. Limited menu. Yeah. Okay, really good food, but it's a limited menu. Okay, so that's part of their brand. Okay. When you think about the brand. Exxon Mobil, what do you think about? Gas, right? It's gas, yeah, but like what I, what I think about is the oil spill they had in Alaska 20 years ago. I still remember that because it was a huge deal, right? So your brand can be associated with negative things too, uh -huh. right? What about Wells Fargo? What do you think about that brand right now? I, I know what I everybody else thinks about. Okay. Why, why is there something going on with them in the news? With Wells Fargo? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They opened a bunch of fake customer accounts a couple years ago. like. Hundreds of thousands of Why? fake because they were pressuring their sales staff to so make they their numbers. Opened up fake accounts. What kind like of, they would just open what you. Funds did they put in there? No. Well, if you were there, if you had a checking account at Wells Fargo, they'd like open a credit card account in your name and not tell you. Because they just the the salespeople got. What that happened to me. I need to find that out. Yeah, you should probably check that out. So like right now, what is that brand associated with? Fraud. Yeah, fraud. Right. Dang. Okay. So brand is important. So, let's talk about some things that we want our brand to be associated with. Now, our brand isn't associated with this yet because we're still a relatively new company and we haven't done very much marketing, okay? But if you go to our website and read about our brand, there's some things that we want people to associate with us, okay? So, the first thing we want them to know is that we're family owned, okay? Are we a big corporate structure? What do we want them to know? We're family owned. Family owned. So, we're not, we're not BKF. Not a corporate, 600 not people. Be, uh, That's uh, right. When you pick up, when you pick up the phone and call Refine Horizons, there's a 90% chance you're going to talk to who? You. You're going to talk to me, the owner, the man that makes things happen, right? The man that's accountable. So a lot of people like that. They like dealing with a family-owned business. Like I like my mechanic in Manteca because I go down there and talk to Raj, the owner. That's crazy. Not that's not Raj. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but it's a small family-owned business, and that means they're accountable they to me. Right I can now. have a conversation with them, okay? So we're family-owned, okay? We're also a small business, okay? So there's some things that people like about small businesses, okay? Is anybody, you know, if you're a client of, of a company like BKF, you know, you're paying BKF to have a giant office in a beautiful business park in Redwood City right on the bay. Like, you paying for that with us? But I have a question about that. Like, we're a small business. That means... That means our costs are low, right? And so a lot of clients like that because are they paying for luxuries? Well, is, you're gonna, they're going to have a more, uh, a broader scope over their job, I would think, because it's, it's not that. Well, that's mass another, producing. there's a couple things here. So number one is like, if you're working with us as small business, are, are you paying for our luxurious lifestyle with your bill? Right. No, right. you're not. We're a small business, family owned, right? The other thing is, hey, if, if you're a $50,000 client, if you're a client that's fifty thousand dollars a year, to me, how important of a client are you compared to like BKF? Let's say huge. Yeah, if you're a fifty thousand dollar a year client for us, you're one of my most important clients. If you're a fifty thousand dollar client for BKF, they might not even answer your phone call when you 
when you call. Or I'm not picking on BK up, a huge company like that, 600 person firm, right? Okay? So that's another reason why people might like small business. Yes? But with small business, <coughs> people also think that you can't do a lot of things that yeah. they... And there's a lot of things we can do, so we're going to talk about it. There's some things that we can do. We're going to talk about that in a minute when we get to our, our niche in the market. Okay, so we're family owned, we're small business. Here's another key part of our brand. We're local. Okay? We live and work in Central California. All of us have been here over, you know, 40 years, 20 years. Right? Monique was born here. Vanessa was born here. I've been here a long, long time. Yeah. Okay, so we're local. Like, look, we're not some firm from Chicago or Florida, right? We're local. We know the people here. We know our communities. I mean, just imagine if you're a client here and you're thinking about building a big development project in Manteca or Latha or Tracy or Lodi or Stockton, and you come to me and you say, hey, here's what we're thinking about, and we say, oh, man, you know, I can tell you right now that's not going to go over good in that neighborhood. Or, hey, have you thought about the crime, the homeless problem you have right here? Or, hey, do you know that there's really bad flood issues, flooding issues right there? Like, we know that because we're local. We know the people at the local agencies, right? I know local title people. I know local appraisers. Okay, so we're local. Family owned, small business, local, and here's the last thing, or maybe the next to last thing. I'm going to give you two. Okay. Okay? We're honest. Okay? That's really important. I put my client's interest first. Right? We got that job in Tracy, and the client thought they only had one parcel that they needed a parcel map, and I found out, no, you actually have three parcels. You don't need a parcel map. You can do a lot more adjustment. Mm -hmm. And I called up the attorney, and I said, hey, I don't think the client needs a parcel map. I think they can do a lot line adjustment. I said, that's going to save them $25,000 in fees. And the attorney said, well, I know that, but isn't that less work for you? And I said, yeah, it is less work for me, but that's what's best for the client. Right, yeah. And the attorney said, I really appreciate that. He said, I'm going to let the client know. Okay, so we're honest. That's part of our brand. Like, listen, I'm one of the most honest people you know. I'm painfully honest. Dependable. Right? Okay? And we do really good work. There's a lot of surveyors that don't do really good work. We do the best work. Okay? So this is part, this is our brand right here. Okay? So you need to know this when you're out to sell, right? People say, hey, why should I hire Reef Point Horizons? Hey, we're family owned. We're small business. We're local. We've been here for 20 years. We're honest, and we do really good work. Okay, now there's some things that aren't on here. Is cheapest on here? No, right? So that, like cheapest isn't on here, okay? That's not part of our brand. Some guys, that is part of their brand. We're not the fastest. We're, we can be pretty fast, but, but, we would, but we're not the cheapest. Focus is but not fast. Am I going to am I gonna sacrifice quality for speed? Right. No, right. I'm not going to do that, right? Okay. So that's our brand. Okay, now let's talk about our niche. So there's things that we do and things that we don't do. Okay.